Hello everybody, welcome back. Thank you for joining me for what I hope to be a super quick video. Um, so before I get started, I wanted to tell you guys about a holiday special collaboration kit I am doing with Crystal Resin. So uh, you or Crystal Resin and I have gotten together and we are doing a special holiday kit. So what that includes, I'm going to put the picture up here at, in the front so you guys can see while I talk about it. So what you will be getting is one gallon of shallow casting resin. You will get a long plastic stir stick. You will get a silicone mold that has six Christmas ornaments on it. So then you can make all kinds of ornaments just in time for Christmas. You get a pair of silicone gloves. You get six random colored fine glitters. So it'll just be six colors of fine glitters. You get a plastic squeegee and free delivery within Canada and the US, okay? That is a $220 value and it is 20% off uh, and you will get it for $176 Canadian. Now, if you are in the US, you know what I'm gonna say, it'll be cheaper for you in the US due to the exchange rate. So it is a very good deal for the US and for Canadians and the free shipping. So if you are interested in purchasing a kit to get some of your casting and get some casting resin to do some molds and stuff and some gifts for Christmas, head on over to the Crystal Resin website and pick up your kit. All right, so um, I'm recording this on Saturday night. So if you hear echo barking, I apologize. Um, usually I record in the morning, they're sleeping, kids aren't home, but I got to get this video done so that you guys can be watching it on Wednesday while I am in Texas. So as you're watching this, I am in Dallas, Texas as you're watching this. So um, if you saw my last bloom video, um, I'll show you the dried results. Let me grab them over here. I still, I still need to resin them but it dried quite nicely. So let me show you the round first. Obviously it's dark and dull. Um, and it, you know, once it gets that coat of resin, it's gonna be super duper shiny and pretty. So this is the 12 inch round. Now you can see the Anchors Away dried really rich and dark. I'm trying to get some light in there so you guys can see. So that's the 12 inch round. And then here, is it's like it, it's really pretty i really really love that center it really really is pretty and then you can tell there's a lot of shimmer in here and once this thing gets a top coat of crystal resin like i mean it's really gonna be pretty look at that so both pieces are available for purchase if you are interested the back is a mess um i'm sure there's black paint under there somewhere this tape just doesn't stick very well um to these canvases because they're not the greatest canvases but these are my practice canvases which is the same as this and i actually didn't tape the bottom of this because i'm using white so i was just not going to sit and f fuss with it so this is an 8 by 24 inch canvas and i'm trying something different today no spinner none of that i'm doing a dutch pour I'm going to do a Dutch pour, but I'm going to use Bloom ingredients. So I'm using my color to go. This color is called Extra White. Um, so that is color to go by Sherwin-Williams. And I'm not much of a fan of the white base. I, I typically like dark base, but I'm going with white on this one. And then um, the colors I'm using are going to be uh, Twilight by TLP. Look how pretty that is. Let me get that light in there. Where's my light? I'm trying to get, anyways, Twilight by TLP. Then I have Nightfall by TLP, Nightfall. Uh, then I have Quinacridone Magenta by Atelier. Then I have Enchantment by TLP. And this is a really nice lilac -y type of purple. That's Enchantment. Then I have Whoa, almost spilled. Um, Dioxazine uh, Purple by Atelier. Dark purple there. Then I have this, one of my favorite 
This is called Sangria by TLP. That is Sangria. Oh, it's so beautiful, Sangria. And then topping it off, this really pretty color called Golden Peach by TLP. All right, I gotta mix them because if you don't, the, the glitter settles, the pigment settles to the bottom. Look how pretty that is, okay? So those are the colors I'm using. And I'm actually using black cell activator. So this is Oxide Black by Amsterdam. Now you're probably wondering, why aren't you using a white cell activator? Because you're doing a white base. I actually really prefer using um, black cell activator. I just feel like it makes the colors pop more. And I've done white cell activator and then I kick myself for it because I don't like the way it looks. So I'm doing black cell activator. So I'm putting gloves on because I don't want to ruin my fancy nails because I just got them done and it wasn't cheap. So I'm gonna protect my nails and my hands from getting all kinds of paint on them because I'm gonna be picking this up and tilting it. We'll see, we'll see how it goes. Um, so what I'm gonna do is first of all, <laughs> open this container. Oh, goodness gracious. <laughs> Help, somebody. Oh my gosh, why is it so tight? Oh my gosh. Okay. Hold please. What? <laughs> I have no strength. Oh my gosh. Oh my goodness. Like I like my killed my hand there. I had to use the back of my hammer here. Oh my gosh. Insane. That was horrendous. Note to self, don't close the lid so tightly next time. Oh my goodness, my hand is killing me. All right, you can hear Echo howling. He says, please let me out. He wants to go outside, but it's snowing. Yes, it's snowing. Today's the first day of snow for the season. So um, yeah, um, so my thought process is to lay um, the colors going across and then I'm going to blow them out. So. Let's see what happens. So I'm gonna do, oh, I think I just saw like a big chunk come out of that somewhere. I see a big chunk. Yeah, look, look at that goober. Oh my gosh. See, this is the problem with these paints is you can't exactly like, I mean, with the Floetrol you can, you know, um, get a strainer and strain it. But this stuff here, if you end up getting a clump, it's going to show when it dries. Unfortunately, that's the problem with these um, containers of paint. So I'm going to add just a bit more. And I just feel like I saw another clump come out. <sighs> that's why these skewers come in handy, right? All right. Is what it is. Okay, so my thought process here is to just pour out some colors, not necessarily all on top of each other, not like I do in my Dutch pours, um, but just we'll see what happens. Now, technically, I could probably do a nice swipe with this, but I really want to try the hair dryer. Like, I really want to go my hair dryer route. So I'm going to try it with the hair dryer. And we'll see what happens. I'm uh, trial and error. I'm trying this with you guys. So I, I didn't do this off camera by myself and then figure it out. Nope, I'm doing it on camera with you guys. Because I figure I might as well record it. So right now, as I mentioned, it is Saturday night. Um, I am like stressing to the max because I'm trying to get everything in order dogs have to go to doggy daycare on monday they're staying there all week because my husband works every day so i, I don't want to leave them home alone so they got to go to daycare you know i got to make sure kids are ready and prepped for school for the week i got a pack still i'm so excited though um i am nervous about my drive to detroit because I am flying out of Detroit. So I have to drive across the border by land. 
So I'm going that route. And uh, I'm a little nervous because I don't typically do long trips and drives by myself. My husband's always with me driving. So this is the first time I'm doing something like this by myself. So I'm a little, I'm a little stressed out, but I know I'll be fine, fine, obviously, you know, I've got GPS and all that, but still doesn't help that I'm a little, you know, nervous. All right, I'm just gonna shift this over, okay? Um, there's a lot of bubbles here, and I know what they say, don't pop, don't use a torch. They didn't even really pop, so um, it's because, um, I heard it leaves like a uh, film on your paint, like a dry layer of skim. So that's why they say not to torch house paint. So I'll just pop these bubbles, these big ones at least manually. Okay. Oh gosh, I'm nervous. Okay, so cell activator, I'm actually gonna take the lid off and I hope I have enough. I wasn't really thinking, I hope I have enough. I really wanted to use Payne's Gray cell activator, but I don't have any more. So I got to get some more Payne's Gray. All right, cell activator's down. Now I could technically blow this with my mouth. I'm going to try a little with the hairdryer and if I don't like it, I'm going to continue with my mouth. Oh, hi. Oh my goodness. Wow. Okay. Holy smokes, that's pretty. Okay, so now what I have to do is I have to um, put some paint here along the edges. So, oh my gosh, I love it. Let me get, oh, I wasn't prepared folks. Let me get a palette knife. Oh my goodness, this is pretty. So I have to put some paint here and I'm gonna have to blow it so that with my mouth to make it flow over the edge. I started the hairdryer and I realized I was on low. And then I had to switch it to high. Okay. I am gonna tilt it a bit because I worry that there's um, a lot of paint in the center and I don't want it to crack as it's drying. So I'm just adding a little bit of paint along the edge so that it'll flow when I tilt it. Okay. Oh my gosh, I'm so excited about this. This is really pretty. I wonder what it's gonna look like once I tilt it a bit though. That's gonna be interesting, okay. Um, oh my gosh, it's so pretty. Okay, a little bit of tilting, okay? A little bit of tilting. Let's, let's try this out without losing anything very beautiful. Oh, I feel like I'm losing stuff. Oh my gosh. 
Oh my goodness. I want to get this corner. I got to tilt slowly though. Oh, I'm ruining, like, I'm making it all wonky. I got to bring it back. Oh, can you guys even see what I'm doing? Okay, I'm going to come down. Bring it back. Okay. Oh my gosh. You know, I could have actually, um, I didn't even think about it, but I, I could have squiggled through it with my skewer, but I'm kind of glad I didn't because I'm actually really liking this right now. Although I did kind of like stretch out my cells a little bit, but I still think it's so pretty. Oh my gosh, I'm loving this. Okay, so I think next time, because there's going to be a next time, I'm going to um, use maybe a little less paint in the center, maybe. Oh, I, I'm like, I shouldn't be stretching it, and I am stretching it, and I am doing all of this, and I don't know when to stop. And you don't, Isn't that what they say? Know when to stop? know when to stop oh my goodness oh don't do what i just did do you see what i just did i put my hand over like that but with my hand open don't ever do that because then you're gonna end up um getting drips onto um your canvas oh goodness wow all right i just dipped my thing look at my hands I dipped my finger. I want to fix my sides here. Oh my gosh, I cannot wait to show you guys this close up. Okay, the sides aren't going to be the greatest, but at this point, I don't care because the rest of this looks amazing. Okay, that side's fully covered. My sides here are covered nicely. Oh my gosh. I'm really happy. I'm so glad I tried this. Okay, this side doesn't look gorgeous and you know how I am about my sides, but at this point in time, I'm actually just gonna be content <laughs> with how it looks. It's gonna look like it helped blow it down. Okay, I'm going to um, take this off and I'll be right back, show you guys a close up. All right, everybody. So I actually did scrape the drips on the bottom. Now I'm going to show you guys that you're going to see it much better when I turn the studio lights off and it is dark because I said I'm, it is Saturday night, but look at this. See, I wanted to tilt more like, okay, my edge on this side looks like crap. It does. I'm not going to lie. And I wanted to tilt it more, but I didn't want to lose this. So I'd rather see this than try and fix the side. So that is why I did not tilt it. But look at this. Now the question is, how is it going to dry? That is the all time burning question. And you will not see it until I get back from Texas, unfortunately. So although I'm going to still have videos, um, you know, on YouTube while I am gone, they have all been pre-recorded so that you guys have something to watch while I am away. Oh my gosh, I love this corner. It's so pretty. So yeah, you won't get to see this dried result until I get back from Texas, all right? Now, let me turn the lights off. All right, it is pitch dark. <laughs> Look, I'm not used to um, pouring at night. I never ever pour in the evening, but in this case, it is going to work to my advantage. Look at the shimmer. Oh my goodness gracious. This is insane. Oh, can't go too close because then my camera changes the color. I apologize. I will try not to go too close, but I'm going to try and zoom in a bit. Maybe that'll help. Oh boy, oh boy. Look at that. This piece, I hope it dries. 
um, really well. We will see. Look at all that shimmer. I am absolutely, wow, look at that. Look at that. I love TLP pigments. So as I mentioned, look at, oh, there's my favorite corner. Look at that. All right, I think you guys get the idea. So there you have it, everybody. Now, I forgot to mention, if you want to know how I mix my, um, how, what I use to get and mix everything here, um, you can check out video number 504. Okay, 504 is a full and complete video tutorial on how I mix my paints, ratios, TLPs, Joe Sonia, everything. So I will link it up here at the top for you. Uh, for those of you who want to go and check out video number 504, okay? And if you want to buy the products, the TLP pigments, Joe Sonia, all of that stuff, they have a lot of stuff on their website. Go to um, the description below my video. There is a link, Fluid Art Co., okay? And that is where you're going to find all the products to do the bloom. Oh, this is so so pretty. What do I call this? The um, bloom blowout? That's what I'm going to call it. It's a bloom blowout, everybody. A bloom blowout. So let me know what you guys think about this in the comments. I tried to do this quickly, but I have a feeling it's not a quick video after all. But uh, let me know what you guys think. Uh, cross your fingers and toes for me that it dries really well. And um, yeah. That's it, and that's all. So don't forget the crystal resin kit. Go to the website if you want to do some resin work. Um, check that out. And, you know, there's only 100 kits available, so snag yours before they are sold out. Uh, until next time, guys, thank you so much for watching. Have a good day. Have a good night. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Take care. Bye.